A zoning amendment for the building at 801 Fraser Street has been approved for public hearing by Prince Rupert Council. It's the location of the proposed new microbrewery, Port City Spirits. We've gone through the process of acquiring this building here, which used to be a U-brew and also a winemaking place, so it's got a long history of, I guess, producing alcohol. Uh, right now we're in the process of getting a zoning amendment uh, to allow us to manufacture vodka. Council approved first and second reading of the amendment during a meeting on May 9th. The next steps in the process are gauging whether the public thinks it's a good idea. When council receives a zoning amendment application, like it's occurred in this instance, then they do first and second readings of the bylaw prior to it proceeding to public hearing. And then once a public hearing has occurred and council's heard feedback from the community on whether or not the community thinks the zoning um, amendment should go forward, then council can make a decision. The process from now will be engaging the neighbors to find out what they think and to see if they're okay with it and then, you know, moving forward with it. If approved, Port City Spirits hopes to make a valuable contribution to the town's small business community. We'd like to bring a unique experience to the community. So, for example, if you come on a cruise ship and you're looking for something to do, you got a data burn, come by the distillery and check it out, see what we're up to. You know, we'd like to improve this building that we've bought. We'd like to make it look good. Uh, where we're at right now, Fraser Street, it's a little bit of a rough neighborhood and we'd like to, you know, make it better. We'd like to make this neighborhood better. I think by being open here and being a vibrant business, if we can do that, well, we'll just make it make this street better, make this neighborhood better. So that's kind of part of the plan. If the zoning amendment does in fact get approved, Prince Rupert residents will still have to wait a while before actually tasting the product. As Peterson says, it should take over a year before the microbrewery is open to the public. For CFTK-TV News, I'm Eddie Huband in Prince Rupert.